hi, hello, and good afternoon. My name is Amanda, and welcome to The Done Creative. For today's reading, we are going to be figuring out where you will be in five years. And please remember that these are general readings, and just take what resonates and leave the rest. If you're new to pick a card readings, try to center your energy by taking a couple of deep breaths, closing your eyes, and really trying to focus on pile one, two, three, four, or five. If you had to pause the video, feel free to do that. But just really try to hone in on the pile or piles that your gut is calling you toward. And if you'd like help trying to develop that intuition, I do have an intuitive exercise video where you can practice and try to strengthen your intuition. And I'm going to be adding more of those kinds of videos here on my channel very soon, so be on the lookout for those. So without making this intro any longer, I will give you a minute to look at the cards and figure out which pile or piles are calling your name for where you will be in five years from now. Okay, pile number one, let's see where you will be in five years from now. Okay, so what's already standing out to me is this kind of tealy, bluey, green color with the gentleness card, domestic harmony, environment, and that's that heart energy, that heart chakra. So with domestic harmony and blessings, I do see that if you're not married, that you will be getting married. And again, if you're not old enough to be married or, or want to be married, it could just be like a, a long-term committed relationship, but you have this domestic harmony. And if you are still living at home with your parents or what have you, domestic harmony could be pointing to that. I see you settling down with a partner. If you're already with a partner, you're just going to continue on this path with just really beautiful domestic harmony and blessings that are coming into your life. And for some of you, that includes children. And with the gentleness card, that just goes really well with children. It's like you see these little mermaid children. There's four of them here. One little guy's having a tea party with a manatee. These little girls are here. And then this little girl's watching. What is that? Is that a... a... Okay, there's a dog and a man in the background. It's very blown out. I'm sorry about that. But he's bringing home some groceries. So it just it just looks like a really beautiful home life where there's the kids are running around, the manatee, the dog, they're just, you know, living the dream. And then you have the new opportunity card and set your sights higher. So to me, it's showing that I feel like a lot of you are going to have a career change. And I'm not talking just, oh, I'm going to do, I'm, if you're an example, an accountant, okay, I'm an accountant here. Oh, I'm gonna move to this other place and be an accountant over here. I don't see it like that. I see it as a completely different type of career than you're working now or that you even thought you'd be working in five years from now. Um, and it has a lot to do with just an unknown blessing and an opportunity that you can't see right now that is going to be coming up for you in these next couple of years and really put you on this path to where it almost feels like a lot of you are playing small in your job and maybe even in some of your relationships and if you're single right now and just thinking you know how am I ever going to find this the one or the person that I'm meant to be with it's almost at that point where you're not looking anymore that's when this person comes to you but with the friendship card right under that, it almost tells me that if you're not with somebody now, you're going to develop this friendship. And it even could be from a new opportunity or a new job that you meet this person and it's all downhill from there in a good way. Like you guys are inseparable and this could just be a lifelong friend or this could be a romantic partner that you meet starting as a friend and then developing into something more but a lot of you are currently just playing small in your job in your relationship in your life in general and you're really going to start coming into your own and realizing what a beautiful life you have with the blessings card and the rainbow and 
a rainbow does come after a storm. So a lot of you may have a bit of a rocky road to get here, which, you know, really we all have a rocky road to get anywhere in this world. So don't let that scare you, but you're going to do it with an open heart. You're going to be a friend to people. You're going to be making friends. And then in the environment card, I just feel like a lot of you are going to be changing your environment, like your physical surroundings, um, moving, and that may even be across the state or across the country. You're just, you know, setting your sights higher and, and say you grew up in a small town in Midwest USA and you've always dreamed of living on the California coast. Well, when you set your sights higher and you realize the blessings in your life, things just start happening for you. And anything that it is, even if it's just deep down in your core, this dream that you've always had, just know that any dream that's in your heart or in your soul was there, was put there because it was meant for you. And when we're born, we're born with this like we're born with potentials. So if you know, if you're very familiar with astrology, I follow Vedic astrology. So when I discovered my birth chart, I realized when reading this birth chart, there are lots of different potentials my life could go because we do have free will. So your free will does play a factor in these potentials. If you have the potential to do all these things, but you don't ever want to get off the couch and just want to Netflix all day, those potentials aren't going to be fulfilled. So you have to actually put in the work and set your sights on something before you can make it a reality. So just know that the more you put yourself out there, the more opportunities are going to come to you. And this is an all around just beautiful next five years. And then at that five year mark, you're just going to feel like this is the life you've always wanted. And now it is yours. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. So if you did pick group number one, you guys, I feel like you do have to put in some work to get there. I'm not going to lie. There's, there's always work involved and it always means so much more when we have worked hard for the things that we have in our lives. So that actually is a benefit to you to work hard and then get the reward instead of just having it handed to you. But, you know, increase your standards and expect more from yourself because you're done settling. You're ready to make those dreams come true. And it looks like if you guys can put action towards what it is that you want, you're going to be there. So yeah, this is really beautiful. And one last message too with the environment card. Um, and then there's a lot of outdoor stuff going on. So it'd be beneficial to you to get out in nature because that's when you can really tap into what it is that you want. Because I feel like some of you have even felt directionless, if not lately, in the past. You've just felt directionless with your life. And I do see a few of you that are on the cusp of or have already started on this five-year path to what it is that you want. But those of you who just feel directionless and, and just blah about your life, just know that this is on the horizon and, and just be very, try to keep your mindset positive, get out in nature and really try to connect with that, that heart energy that is within you and you can tap into this. So yeah, this is very beautiful. You guys, five years from now, it, you guys are going to be looking pretty good. So yeah, I hope this resonated. Um, leave me a comment below letting me know what you thought. And if you feel so inclined, go ahead and subscribe, like, share, all those fun things. And I hope to see you back at the Den Creative. All right. Thank you so much. Bye. All right, group number two. Let's see where you will be in five years from now. Okay, group number two. So the th these two are really standing out to me. Ebb and flow and problem resolved. And it's funny because there is a large body of water in this one and this one. And then the consultant and expert, another large body of water. And in dreams or just in general, water signifies our emotions. So I do feel like a lot of you have been feeling very weighed down and heavy with big emotions. And I do feel like some of you, this does stem from childhood 
or even past life stuff that is just coming up for you to be dealing with right now or even in the past you've just been dealing with these these emotional things that have leaked into your life and become problems in relationships, jobs, situations, whatever. And it looks to me like you're coming out of this, especially if you can consult an expert and get some help, whether that looks like therapy, taking a course, just learning about yourself and knowing and acknowledging that the, the problems that are in your life, what they are, and what purpose they're trying to serve, what they're pointing to that needs healing, and what it is that you want to do moving forward with your life. And I do see another really good way to get in touch with that would be to get out and do some physical activity, whether that's running, boxing, tai chi, yoga, Whatever that physical activity looks like for you, if you can find a way to work out or get that activity in that actually excites you and makes you happy, dancing even, I just see someone dancing, whatever that means for you is a really good way to tap into those emotions and get them dealt with. But over the next five years, I do see a lot of you are going to find out more about who you are as an individual. You could have a spiritual awakening or just really zone in, hone in on that spiritual path that you may have neglected up until this point with the ebb and flow card. Maybe you've really been gung-ho about your spiritual side, but then, you know, life gets in the way and you're just stuck doing all the things that we have to do day to day just to get through the day. And then you get back to spiritual, get back to the day-to-day. -day. So I do see you guys using that ebb and flow, ebb and flow, to really tap into who it is you are and what it is you're here to do and what you want to do. And then with the treasure chest, an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. So something that you have either been working for over these five years or just really wanted over these five years is going to start coming to fruition for you. And then with the indigo and crystal children card, either you are an indigo child yourself or a crystal child or a rainbow child or a blue ray soul or whatever kind of star seed or any of that that you identify with. And if you don't know what any of those are, you can always Google that and, and see what that is. Or you are giving birth to these higher dimensional souls. Your children are coming from these higher dimensions with the way that the world is right now and this ascension process these lower vibrational souls aren't really able to incarnate anymore it's all fifth dimension and higher that are incarnating now and if you if this sounds like wackadoodle stuff to you just take what resonates and leave the rest this is for those people who are spiritual and really resonate with that kind of stuff either you're going to be working with these children or you're going to be having children that are, or you already have children right now that are indigos and crystals and rainbows that are just going to need your nurturing. And as I say that, I do feel like some of you are going to just not know how to handle some of these situations. So again, the consultant expert could go many ways, whether it's a business coach or therapy or counseling of just any kind. Or if you're trying to go back to school, you need to consult an expert in that field just to kind of see what it's like, you know, something like that. But over these next five years, and then at that five-year mark coming out of this, you guys are going to have solved whatever big problems have come to you up until that point. And even through those five years, you're working through these things. But you guys, this looks great with this treasure chest. It's kind of like that world is your oyster and you guys can just go after these things. But just take it with an ebb and a flow, ebb and a flow. Don't burn yourself out by trying to do too much and don't just sit around waiting for things to happen. You've got to be active when you feel the need to be active and you need to rest when your body's calling to rest. But for the most part, this looks really good for the next five years. You guys are going to be Really, for, for a lot of you, this is an individual self-discovery five years chunk of time. 
where you really tap into why it is you're here, that life purpose energy with the physical activity, individuality. You're trying to make yourself the best version of you that you possibly can. And this just looks really good. So yeah, in five years, you guys are going to have figured out more of who you are and you're probably going to be in some in better shape and eating better. I even see someone eating better. And whatever big problems you've been dealing with in your life, they're going to work out. So yeah, this looks beautiful. There's no big worries or anything crazy that's coming up that I can see from this. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for checking this out. And please like or comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I hope to see you back at the Done Creative. All right, thank you. Bye. All right, group number three, let's see where you will be five years from now. Okay, what's really standing out to me first and foremost is vulnerability and love. So some of you got and new beginnings. So some of you guys have really had a hard time in love and you've either been single for a very long time or you've been with somebody, but things have just been up and down, up and down, up and down, or just not the way you envisioned them when you guys first got together. Whatever your scenario is, I do see that at that five year mark from now, you will be putting yourself out there. You have put yourself out there and you have found the love that you've been looking for. You have a beautiful new beginning and whatever it is, it's like your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. Yes. So you get the yes card. So anything it is you can set your heart and mind to over these next five years, the answer you're going to get is yes. And then with the creative expression, I see a lot of you in those creative fields, even if you're not earning your income as a creative, you think, oh, I want to learn to watercolor. I want to learn how to do tarot cards. I want to learn how to write. I want to learn how to play guitar. Whatever it is for you that you've always thought, you know, some sort of creative or expressive endeavor that you've always wanted to try, over these next five years is a time to start doing those things because it's really going to fuel you to get where it is that you want to be in life. And I do with the sensitivity card, I see many of you are going to start really tapping into these spiritual gifts that either you've had your whole life and maybe they've kind of waned as you've grown older or you're going to be discovering them for the first time and all these beautiful new extrasensory gifts are going to start coming online and it's funny right as I say that my right ear starts ringing you may be getting a lot of ringing in your ears and that you know, I, I know like the medical term for that is tinnitus or tinnitus, however you pronounce that. I've heard it pronounced both ways. But in a more spiritual sense, that is you tapping into different dimensions or guides and them coming through. And you may not, I mean, you can't, it just sounds like a high pitched tinging noise or like a, a ringing. So you may not be understanding what it's trying to tell you, but a good way to go when you do get that ringing in the ears is try to remember what you were saying, what you were hearing, what you were thinking about when that started happening because that will clue you in on as to what this information that's coming through is telling you. And in these next five years to get where you want, you're going to be putting yourself out there in ways that you never ever thought you could. So perhaps you're an introvert and just the idea of public speaking or having a platform where you're in front of the camera or something like YouTube, you thought never in a million years would I be able to do something like that. I'm too shy, I'm too introverted. And over these next five years, you're really gonna be putting yourselves out there and maybe at that five year mark, you're doing these things, you're public speaking, you're a mentor to people, something like that where you're, you put yourself out there and we're very vulnerable. Vulnerability is not a weakness. It is a superpower. Because do you know how hard it is to be vulnerable? It is much harder than just barging through and charging and yelling and putting throwing your weight around. Being vulnerable is a superpower. And in our society, we don't look at it as such for the most part. But if you can really tap into... And let yourself be vulnerable. Of course, do it in a loving, safe way. Don't be vulnerable in front of the trolls and the bullies. 
you know the time and place to be vulnerable. But one good way to be vulnerable is through your creative expression, whatever art form that takes. And I just saw somebody sitting there crocheting, totally random, but I figured I'd just say it since it happened to pop up. So whatever kind of creative expression you have, if you can't speak with your with your voice, you can do it through creative expression. Write a story that has just been on your heart. You can use characters and a setting and a plot to put that out into the world, to use that vulnerability to put yourself out there and really get where it is that you want to be. At that five-year mark, you're going to have love in your life. You're going to have support and a new beginning. You're going to have these beautiful gifts coming online that either were really strong when you were a child but faded or are just new to you completely. Anything you want to go after, yes, 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 yes. Go after it. Do it. Any kind of creative, expressive thing that you've ever wanted to do and try, do it. Try it. Put yourself out there. Be vulnerable. And you're going to be sitting very beautifully at that five-year mark from now. So, yeah, this was awesome, you guys. You're going to have to let me know what it is you've... If you do have a big dream in your heart, you know, you don't have to share it all your personal details online but just let me know what what kind of what kind of things you guys want to do thank you guys all so much for all your likes comments shares subscribes and all those things i really do appreciate it and i do hope to see you back at the dead creative all right thank you so much bye okay group number four let's see where you will be five years from now Okay, the first thing that's really standing out to me is all this blue and yellow, blue and yellow, blue and yellow. As far as like chakras go, yellow is that solar plexus just right like above your navel but below your heart, just that gut area. And solar plexus has a lot to do with our courage. And I see a lot of you are going to be gaining courage in the things that you want to do. Maybe before you thought, oh... I'm not good enough to do that or I'm not strong enough to run that marathon or you know whatever it is that you've wanted to do you've kind of talked yourself out of it and over these next five years and then at that five-year mark you're gonna be sitting at this place of courage and strength that you've never known for yourself and it's gonna be very beautiful and then with these these blues kind of indigos that third eye chakra energy color you're going to be really tapping into your mind's eye with things and your intuition and that source where our creative ideas come from. And then you have the creative writing card and creativity. So these next five years are going to be all about creating things. And for a lot of you that will be writing. Even if you're just like doing like a bullet journal and journaling your innermost thoughts, you're going to be doing it in a really beautiful way. But for a lot of you, I do see you wanting to write poetry or write short stories or a novel. And then this lady here sitting here, it looks like she's crocheting some sort of intricate little web thing. Sorry about that, you guys. I rambled on too long and my video cut off. So where we were was her crocheting. So you're going to be using these creative talents to really build a life for yourself that you've always wanted. Over these five years, you're going to be spending a lot of time honing in on the direction that you want your life to go. Because a lot of times when things are so busy, we just, we get swept up in all the doing and we don't have time to take that breather and get a notebook and a pen and just start really letting ourselves dream and allowing ourselves to plan the things that we want to do. And you're going to be having a lot of time alone, meditating, and really figuring out what it is that you desire in life. And then you do have honoring your true feelings. And that really goes hand in hand with the contemplation time. Because you need time to figure out what it is that you want. A lot of people in this society are just chasing the things that, they, that the media tells them they need. The big house, the fancy car, all the makeup, all the clothing and consume, 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 but 
And we think, we may think on the surface, oh, I want that car, I want those makeups to look beautiful. We think we want these things, but when we really get in touch with that soul part of ourselves, we realize none of that means anything and it doesn't enhance our lives anymore. It doesn't enhance our lives at all. It just makes us want for more and more and more. Like this bodiless head that just keeps eating and eating and eating and can't get full because it is so eager to get to the next thing, the next thing, the next thing, that it can't truly allow the thing it just consumed to digest and process and nourish it. It's just on to the next, on to the next. And that's kind of the way our society's set up. And it's not actually beneficial to anybody. But we all just go along with it because that's how it is. That's the way it is. And we follow the herd and we do what we're told. Or we do what we think we are supposed to do. But I feel like you guys are almost rebelling against society at large, even in general, with the Generations card, the Ancestors. You're wanting to get back to your roots with things you know she's out in nature doing something creative and she's kind of sitting in nature with this bird and these beautiful plants and trees allowing herself to just be in nature without having to consume or do anything and I do see a lot of you really wanting to get in touch with the way your ancestors did things or your roots and then with the parenting card and creativity you know when you're a parent you Either you, if you've created that child from within your own body or you've adopted that child, you create a family when you have a child. So a lot of you are going to be having children or if you already have children and don't plan to have any more, you're just going to be parenting those children. And that also includes, you know, if you're too young to have children, even five years from now you don't want children, whatever that is. It's perfectly fine not to want children, but with the parenting card, you are still the parent of your own inner child and inner child work and getting in touch with that inner child is such an important thing that we just, once we hit that mark when we're that teenager that just wants to be an adult overnight, it's like we just abandoned this child that we used to be and it's not until that midlife point for a lot of people when they have that midlife crisis that they realize that inner child has never got its wish to be fulfilled in whatever capacity that means for each individual person. So the parenting card could go very many ways for you guys, but I just see a lot of you guys just wanting to create a more beautiful, simple life for yourself over these next five years. And... I do see a lot of you wanting to be out in nature doing things, hiking, biking, planting a beautiful garden, having an, I just see somebody wants to have some sort of animal sanctuary or a place where they can volunteer with animals. And so that message is for a very specific person, not everybody. But then I see her, she almost has like this magic wand. And I think through honoring your true feelings and contemplating what it is that you want in life, that almost acts as a magic wand for you to point yourself in the direction that it is that you want to go. And this reading here is actually very open. Any direction you want to go over these next five years is there for the taking for you. If you've been contemplating going back to school, do it. If you've been thinking of a career change, do it. If you don't feel like the relationship that you're in, friendships, any kind of relationships that you're in are fulfilling you or for your highest good, you don't have to stay. Whatever this means for you, it's like you're getting rid of the things that aren't serving your highest good or your soul's mission and replacing them with things that will. And at that five-year mark, you're just going to be sitting in a very beautiful spot. And then just looking at this, I did also hear blogger or somebody who's writing stuff online. Even if it's just inspirational posts on, you know, Instagram or Facebook or something like that. There's a creative writing element in here for you over these next five years. But creativity is going to play a huge role for you guys over these next five years. So 
whatever that means for you. I hope this message resonated. You'll have to leave me a comment letting me know what you thought. And please like, comment, share, subscribe, all those fun things. And I hope to see you guys back at the Done Creative. All right, thanks. Bye. All right, group number five, let's see where you will be in five years from now. Okay, this looks really beautiful. You have dreams coming true. You have passion, adventure, unfoldment. Let yourself receive, moderation. I mean, you guys are going, going big in this thing. So at that five year mark from now, some big dream that you've had your whole life or just for a really long time is gonna come true for you guys. That is awesome. And I feel like it's something you're very passionate about and something that you have maybe over these five years or even longer just worked very hard for or tried to make happen, but it just wasn't happening before. And then all of a sudden, something takes root and pulls up and you just create something out of nothing. It's like this lotus flower. They grow basically out of the mud and they are just this beautiful thing that grows in the most crazy place. And I feel like a lot of you guys have just felt almost out of place in your life. And trying to find that stable footing of what is it I want in my life? What is it I want to do? For a lot of you, it's going to be getting out and doing things you've never done before. Living your life with this sense of adventure and waking up every day trying to figure out what new thing you can experience that you haven't experienced before. But with that, you do have the moderation card. So there may be things in your life, maybe you aren't eating the healthiest or you're eating too much of the wrong things or you're drinking too much or not sleeping enough, you're just working too much. You know, it could be anything and everything. But over these next five years, you're going to really get a handle on how much is enough and how much is too much and really honing in on that moderation. What's the perfect balance for you? What's not too much? What's not too little? And a lot of you guys have been playing small in your life and not, you know, blocking your blessings, not allowing the gifts of the universe to come through to you. And a lot of it has to do, I think, for you guys with relationships in your life. Maybe you're the person who's always doing things for everyone else and you have a hard time letting people help you out when you need help. So over these next five years, you're going to finally find yourself at a point where you can let yourself receive that help you need when you need it. And you're just going to have this sense of drive and passion where this dream that's coming true for you is concerned. And I just, right when I said that, I saw this really big house on this big property. So I feel like a couple of you, I'm getting more than one, maybe two, three people that are picking this pile. They dream to have a beautiful home that they're building on like acreage or like a big property with like a creek running through it and all these beautiful trees and wildlife. So for some of you, that is this dream that's coming true. And then for others of you, I do see this as more of an internal thing or just this sense of self and purpose in life. And then for others of you, you've just had this desire to travel and get out more and you're going to be doing that. And if all those things resonate, you're just going to be doing all of it. <laughs> You guys are really going to be putting yourselves out there doing these things. But again, in moderation, you're going to know when is when too much is too much. And you're just going to be living this passionate life where the things that are in your life are, it's like you've curated your life into this perfect museum of everything that means anything to you, whether that's relationships, jobs, just home life, situations, whatever. Everything that's in your life, for the most part, is going to be because you want it there. Not because, oh, that was handed to me or that's life circumstance. No, you guys are going through these next five years. It's going to be, with the 55, that's a lot of change. You guys are going to be, some of you are going to be moving like across the country or completely changing career paths, finding somebody new to be in a relationship with or 
maybe even possibly moving on from someone you're with now. Again, take what resonates and leave the rest. But for the most part, it's going to be leading you to this beautiful unfoldment where you're really in touch with who it is you are, what your purpose is here, and what you want to do. And this is just such a beautiful, beautiful group, you guys. You, There's nothing to worry about because even though you're going to be putting in a lot of of hard work on these dreams that you have, you're going to have that passion fueling that work because there's nothing harder in life than being f or feeling forced to do something when you have no desire to do it or no passion to do it. It's just, it just weighs on your soul. But when you have that passion and drive fueling you to move forward with these actions and this hard work, it almost doesn't feel like work. At the end of the day, you wipe your brow and you hop in the shower and you're like, I feel so good about what I did today. And then you can't wait, wait to wake up the next morning and do it all over again because you have that passion. And you guys, if you've been living, and I do feel many of you have just felt unfulfilled in your life, in your relationships, and I see for the most part your living arrangements, like where it is your living. Maybe you just live in a bad part of town or maybe you're still living at home with parents and you wish you could have your own place. But by the end of this five years, you're going to be living the life you want. And I did see somebody like driving a bus and that is their home. And I do have one friend that did that and I just totally pictured her face when I said that. But, you know, living that nomadic lifestyle where you sell all your belongings and you, you know, either live in a tiny home or you live this nomadic lifestyle in an RV or a bus that you've converted into your tiny home on wheels and you're just going anywhere your heart desires and you're working remote from your tiny home or your trailer or what or your RV or whatever. And I think that's for a very specific small number of you guys, but with that sense of adventure card you're either going to be traveling a lot or you're going to be living on the road, some of you. Again, not all of you, some of you. But yeah, I mean, this is such a fun, just like wide open, could be anything going on. But at that five-year mark, you guys are going to be realizing one dream come true, at least, if not many, because this is dreams coming true, not dream coming true. So more than one dream. And I do see a lot of you guys, this has to do with your living arrangement. And then for another great number of you, it has to do with your relationships and romantic partners. So yeah, this is beautiful. And you guys are going to have to let me know what, what it is you guys think this is about. I don't know. It's pretty cool. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much again for checking out these readings. I really, truly appreciate all your love and support and your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, all those things. And... I really hope to see you back at the Den Creative because I have a lot more fun readings planned and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. All right, thank you so much. Bye.